Now to the coronavirus crisis, the number of deaths in the U.S. rising to 11. And for the first time, one death is outside the state of Washington. California reporting its first coronavirus death. The victim is being described as an elderly with underlying health conditions. State health officials report the person was likely exposed during an international cruise. Meantime, Los Angeles County declaring a health emergency after new cases surfaced in the area. And now the House and Senate have approved an $8 billion deal to try and fight the spread of the coronavirus. Our coverage begins with Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, coronavirus now being considered more deadly than the flu. So Glenda, before everyone's anxiety really rises, let me just say this, that the fatality rates for COVID-19, the coronavirus will fluctuate and change over time. We do expect that to happen. Now the seasonal flu is estimated to kill less than 1% of people who get sick with it, right? While COVID-19 has been estimated by the World Health Organization to kill about 3.4% of folks who get infected. But do remember, these are global numbers and they will change from country to country, even place to place. Some areas will do much better than others because the healthcare system that's in place. Plus, Yuan China really skews these numbers as the death rate there is quite high. And on top of that, the estimate does not include people with mild cases, only those who need medical attention. In short, that 3.4% four percent may go down over time so doc we've heard recently about scientists repurposing drugs all this to create the coronavirus what does that actually mean Talon, when you repurpose a drug, it means that an existing drug that's used to fight one disease can now be redeveloped or used to fight something else that it wasn't in initially intended for. And that's good, in my opinion, because known drugs already have in place things like manufacturing processes and clinical development phases. So you're not starting from scratch, and so you're more likely to get a drug to the market faster. Now, a group of European-based scientists have looked closely at 119 antiviral agents that can target more than one virus. They're, they're called BSAAS, short for Broad Spectrum Antiviral Agents. About a handful of them are potential candidates. For example, hard to pronounce stuff like Oritavancin, Dalbavancin, and Monansin are approved antibiotics that are uh, effective in inhibiting corona and other viruses in a laboratory. So they could possibly be repurposed, as I mentioned, as antiviral agents to treat and prevent the novel coronavirus, which is good news. You know, and doctor, I mean, people are scared. Like Seattle said to be a ghost town. How is the coronavirus taking a toll on people's lives? Talk about that. Yeah, people are really scared. Yeah. I understand that, but we have to get more information. And, and in areas like Seattle that rely on tourism are, are being impacted big time as fewer, fewer tourists are out shopping and visiting places like the famous Pike Place Market. It's actually something we could see here if the virus, virus really comes our way. And while staying home is not good for the local economy, it'll actually be very good in helping to prevent the spread of the virus. So as a friendly reminder, please take precautionary steps now be very vigilant about washing your hands. I talk about it all the time. Please cover your cough and stay at home if you're sick. If you suspect the coronavirus, important to call your family doctor or the local health department first before going anywhere to lessen exposure to others. And again, it's not important to panic about it. Let's get information that we're talking about it and we'll get on top of this and I think we'll, we'll be able to contain it. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for easing our fears first and foremost.